Huh? Stop right there, criminal scum! This video is not made for children. If you're under age 13 or younger, please, for the love of Christ, live at once, or you will be judged! Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be reviewing something uh, very cool from the Unicorn Choji. So today I'm going to be reviewing is the 2005 Transformers Cybertron Deluxe Class Brimstone. Now the only accessory that Brimstone comes with is the Cyber Key Planet with the Jungle uh, Cyber Planet Key. So yeah. So this is the only well, um, Energon figure, had to, I mean Cybertron figure to review for you guys. But don't worry, I don't know if there's any more. Um, do I need to fix the uh, back there? Okay, there we go. So yeah. Now before I'm going to continue this, this video is not made for kids. This is for adults and teenage collectors. So that means if you guys see the underage or 13 or younger, I'm trying to get my pet pack. Sorry about that. If you guys, like I said, if you guys see underage or 13 or younger, please do me a favor, get out. Because it's not made for little kids. This is for adults and teenagers only. But this video is also not a sponsor, but a shout out to, of course, the Retro Exchange. Which, I'll get the piece of paper out, of course. Oh no. There it is, the Retro Exchange. Yeah, I think my copy is getting wet, so that's not good. And thanks to them, they let me borrow the stuff to let me to review. So that means I get some contents, but I know I'm not monetized yet. <coughs> So that means more content for me, and that means more views. That means more reviews for you guys. Minus the dislikes and the hate comments that you guys have given me, so I do want to say to screw some of you guys. Anyways, enough about, you know, screw you guys. I'm going home or anything kind of crap. Let's get on with this review. Now, I've been wasting too many time on the intro. Now, let's get something out of the way. Here it is the Cyber Planet Key that he comes with. The jungle pony key. I want to say the nice detail on this key is pretty cool. Translucent green painted on silver. And he has, he does have a color back right there if you can see it. Now back in the day during the Cybertron series you get, um, you could put in the code. And I think, it, and if, am I right or probably could be wrong. It will give you some information more about the character. So yeah, let's put this so here aside for now. So what he looks like in his beast mode. His beast mode is representing a pterodactyl. A pterodactyl. I'm just thinking about a Hot Wheels place that called pterodactyl. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. So pterodactyl, whatever. I want to say this mode of this figure is one of the coolest, one of the most badass one as well. But I'm also kind of a bit disappointed with this, and I'll give you, I'll tell you guys in a minute. Just by looking at this, even the detailing over here, if you can see, is so pretty cool. I don't know why they have he have vents vents over here. So yeah, he was shown in one of the episode, probably one of the clips of the episode. I don't remember. I never watched Transformers Cybertron before. I just only see the clips on YouTube, and god damn, it, this is so cool. Now I know some of you guys are gonna say it's like, oh, it's Transformers Cybertron sucks. That sucks. You, you should go kill yourself. Well, guess what? Screw you. Now, look, now we're going to start off with the problem first. The first problem is, well, trying to balance brimstone, having like this, is a kind of a bit tricky because sometimes, okay, never mind. Sometimes if, you're, if your copy has the loose ball joints on the legs, you get troublesome. But not only that, his head's showing up right there, which there's no other way to cover it up. The feet right there, and this his head right there will be the robot feet. So yeah, sadly the wings doesn't move like this and that. Only can do only this part right here can do like this, but that's also do the arms can move in and out like that. So that's another issue. My other other complaint about this figure, well, he's suffering some lack of paint. You can see the nice sculpting detail on on him, on the legs right here. Like this is the robot leg. Even on his neck, you can see the wires on him. I wish they could give us some more paint to us instead of like this whole yellow right here. But it's looking over the eyes, it looks pretty cool, sculpted. His mouth can open and close, I want to mention one thing, which is pretty cool, but also that due to the transformation when you flip it down to, to become the foot. His upper head can go up and down like that. 
You can do it like this and that, but that do you know because because this is the robot legs, of course. Head can go his neck can go up and down like that, it's on a ball joint. He can go a little bit like that, so not that much. Wings can go up and down like that if you hold the foot right there. Speaking of his foot, which also will be the robot head hands, his foot can go like this and that. Bend at the you know the pterodactyl knee, which is the robot elbow, and I pretty much just sit. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Now, like all the other Cybertron figures, they all have a special feature. You see this piece right here? Well, there's a swatty over here, and there's a little button right there. So what do you do? Is grab the key, you plug this in, and and I say, and I said, plug this in. Boom. Yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. Two boys coming out like that, and also that the wings is on a translucent black, uh, translucent black, painted on with some purple on it. If you can see, you know, the transparent on it, and some a little bit of um, okay, like goldish, yellowish color. So that's the feature. If you want to keep it like that, but also you could so uh, clip away. So yeah, piece mode looks okay. Just the lack of paint of them. As to transform Brimstone into robot mode is easy. Open the mouth, flip this down like that, and close the mouth up like that. Unpick the the flakes right there. There's a peg here and a peg hole right down there. Swing it out. Bring this upper body right there. Strain out the legs. Have them face forwards like that. Make sure that this is facing on the front of the crotch area. Twist it around. Twist the body around 90 degrees. 90 degrees like that. And let's see, anything else? Not this. Guess that's it. Let's flip the other A leg out. Bring the head out like that. Flip this. Angle the arms, which be the robot hands. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Or just have it down. It doesn't matter. Things you have to have like that. Bring the arms. And here you have Brimstone in his robot mode. And my god, he's cool. And that's a giant long so shoulder blade right here. Yeah, it's pretty long. Painting scope to the detail on this figure looks even better in robot mode. I want to mention one thing. Here it is the nice beautiful head sculpt right here. Here's the head sculpt. The eyes unfortunately are painted and not transparent. So that's kind of sucks, but you can see the nice head. The nice sculpting on it, but I wish it could give us some more paint. Brimsel looks um he looks he looks okay, I guess. Mine is just the this right here and this whole thing up there. Yes. Yeah, the robot mode is kind of a kind of a bit disappointing, but it still is a good figure, right? Articulation wise, his head can is in a swivel, does go 360 degrees. Arms can go in and out like that, but the wings can also move as well, so shoulder can go up and down. Arms can go 360 degrees. It can move like this and that. Or it can go like this. You got a elbow joint right here. Fingers can go like that. He has some um, thumb articulation. And also you can use it the hands as well. Um waist can go 360 degrees, but that do the you know transformation. Waist can go forward that far, backwards that far. Biceps hold well, does go 360 degrees. A bend at the knee, and sadly no ankle pivot. So you do get some some decent posts, and you do get the feature as well. Plug this in, and there you go. Pretty cool. I want to mention one thing. All right, I'm gonna pause the video. Forgot to mention one thing. Decepticon symbol right there. Anyways, I'm gonna pause the video, give him the final post, and I'll be right back for you guys. All right. Alright, overall Brimstone is one of the coolest figure ever, I like this figure a lot. 
So unfortunately, this is the only um, Enter Cybertron review for you guys. But if you guys want to see two random videos, go to the information up there and the outro as well. Subscribe to my two channels right there. And pretty much that's it. Sorry guys, I have to go right now because it's time to head back to work. So you guys already know the rules. So like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'm out.